Topic three, accounting for leases under IFRS. IFRS does not classify leases into capital or operating leases. Instead, IFRS recognizes right of use assets when a lease is entered into. The only leases for which the right of use model is not applicable are low value and or short term leases. That is leases that are either low in relative value or less than 12 months. These types of leases would be considered operating leases and are expense as costs are incurred, or if they are the lessor, recognized as revenues are earned. At the beginning of the lease, the lessee recognizes a right of use asset and corresponding lease liability. Throughout the lease, the lease liability is increased by the interest expense and reduced by the payments. The asset must also be depreciated. JBC Corp. It's chunky. It's a leasing a truck from Acme Corp. The fair value of this truck is $50,000. The lease begins on January 1st, 20X1, with a lease term of three years, and the economic life of the asset is four years. Lease payments are set at $12,000 per year, payable at the end of the year. The lessee's incremental borrowing rate is 7%. The lessee uses straight line method for depreciation. At the beginning of the lease, the lessee recognizes the right of use asset and lease liability at the present value of the minimum lease payments. Step one, debit the right to of use asset in the amount of $33,696 and credit the cash payment used with the remainder to the off to the remaining lease liability. The next step is to record the interest expense. So we record the interest expense on the outstanding liability for the next year, which increases our interest expense and corresponding lease liability. We then need to record depreciation, which is one third of the present value of the lease payments because it is the right of use asset over the time period in which the company is leasing it. So one third of $33,696 is a depreciation expense with corresponding accumulated depreciation. At the end of the term, the accumulated depreciation account is eliminated and the right of use asset is removed from the balance sheet. At the end of the term, the lease liability would be $0. Under IFRS, leases are accounted for by the lessor as they would under ASPE, except IFRS does not label leases as sales type or financing leases. Uh, sales type leases are referred to as manufacturer and dealer leases under IFRS, and financing leases are simply not manufacturers and dealers. For manufacturer and dealer leases, the revenue recorded is equal to the present value of minimum lease payments discounted at the rate implicit in the lease. Let's look at a question. JVC Corp is leasing an MRI machine from Medicorp. The fair value of the machine is $500,000. The lease begins on April 1st, 20X1. The lease term is five years and the economic life of the asset is seven. Payments are set at 96,000 per year, payable at the beginning of the year. The lessee's incremental borrowing rate is 6%. At what amount will the right of use asset be recorded? Is it A, 404,386, B, 535,908, C, 428,650, or D, zero. This is not a right of use asset. If you said C, that would be correct. The present value of the lease payments, keeping in mind that the first lease payment is paid at the beginning of the term, is $428,650.
That's it for this topic and for this chapter. I'll see you in the next.